In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to create this Java application. In this Java application, clicking on the close button, the message will be appear and if we click on no button, the application will be not close. But if we click on the yes button, the application will be close. So open your NetBeans and go to the files and select the new project. Now select Java from categories and Java application from projects and click on the next button. On the project name, give the name to your project and click on this button to save or a set a destination folder for your project. Now uncheck my the create main class and click on the finish button. On the left side you will find the projects. If you don't find the project, go to the window and click on the projects. You can also find the different project or a panel in this section. Now expand your source package and right click on it and go to the new and create a JFrame. We are going with the default name, so click on the finish button. Now go to the right side, from a palette, drag on label or the top left corner. Now go to the properties and click on this button. Now change the style to bold and select the size to 28. Now right click on the label and select the edit text. Now enter your text and click enter. Resize your layout and go to the source. In source you will find the constructor. Now you will find the constructor. So at the end of a constructor we are going to define a method. So type void exit. Now in the braces we are going to store an integer. Integer a and initializing the integer a is the j option pen. And type the j option pen dot so confirmation. We are using the confirmation dialog with the parent component, message, title and the option panel. So give the parent component to null and type your message in a second parameter. The message will be displayed on a proper message. Now give the title of your pop-up message. Now select the yes and no of a J option panel. This will be defined the two button yes and no. Now type if a equals to yes and select the J option pen dot yes option. If the A value is equal to yes, we have to close this message or close this window. So type this dot dispose. The dispose method will be close this J option panel or a J frame. So first line will be Initialize the A with the output of a J confirmation dialog. Now, in the second line, we will be check the message or the input of a user. If input is yes, then we will be dispose or close our J frame. So go to the constructor and we will override the default method of a window closing. So first type this 
डॉट ए विंडो लिस्नर सो वी आर एडिंग द इवेंट ऑन अ विंडो लिस्नर सो टाइप न्यू विंडो एडेप्टर तो विंडो एडेप्टर विल बी स्टोर द ऑल इवेंट ऑफ अ विंडोज और अ विंडो ऑफ अ जे फ्रेम सो वी आर गोइंग टू ओवर राइड द विंडो क्लोजिंग मेथड सो ओवर राइडिंग द मेथड राइट क्लिक ऑन इट एंड सेलेक्ट द इंसर्ट कोड एंड क्लिक ऑन अवर राइड मेथड एंड चेक मार्क ऑन अ क्लोज और विंडो क्लोजिंग मेथड एंड क्लिक ऑन जनरेट बटन इट विल ऑटोमेटिकली जनरेट अ मेथड बट एज इन नोटिस इट विल बी ऑटोमेटिकली जनरेट अ लाइन सुपर डॉट विंडो क्लोजिंग This line will be close the old method of a window closing. So delete this method. And type exit Now go to the design left click on the j frame and go to the properties and select the do nothing on a closing action now go to the run and click on a test project now go to the output and you will see the build successful message now again go to the run and click on a run project it will ask to create a main class then click on the ok button and your application will be open If we click on a cross button, the message will be appear, and if we click on a no button, the application will not close. Now, this conclude this video. Thanks for watching.